What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Giroud. Now, is Giroud a beast goalkeeper? Well, I'm going to show you a little bit with this game and how animation driven it is sometimes because stats only go so far with consistency. I'm going to do a video on stats versus animations very, very soon. But we're training up this Giroud. He's a free player that you can get from the nominating contracts. Now, this is a simple save, but watch the follow-up that we'll get a look at here in a second as well. Brilliant save, strong left hand, and then he gets back up with the reflexes, and boom, what a save. Now, when you look at his stats here and how we train him up, right, you might be thinking, well, why would you train Giroud as a goalkeeper instead of a centre-forward? For fun, man, for a bit of banter. Video games, sometimes, it's not all about meta this, meta that. It's about having a bit of crack, and Giroud and goals was a bit of a challenge that we set ourselves on the stream the other day. But I was surprised. I think we only conceded about four goals in like, or three goals in like six or seven games with Giroud between the sticks. And also, you have a bit of crack with him. There's a bit of ability that you can play. There's the build that you see there. But his main stat is not even going to be anywhere near an average goalkeeper, his reflexes stat. And also, you can play about with the best goalkeepers as well. Cheeky little back heel there to start us on our way. But let me know if you guys have got Giroud. I mean, look, he's not somebody that you're going to really recommend but he is a beast in goals, man. His reflexes are ridiculous. What a save there. Um, and we're going to see another one from the close clip at the start as well from close range. But let me know what you guys think of Drew and goals. It's a bit of crack. It's a bit of banter. Have you signed him? Let me know.